this is really what we have to start with, I'm afraid. And it's not appropriate for children or, or for anyone, frankly. But Jeffrey Tubin, CNN legal analyst, obviously, as you know, uh, showed his tube during a Zoom call with colleagues a few months ago. In fact, you know, he was he didn't just show it. He was uh, he was, you know, handling the situation, so to speak, right there in front of everybody on the Zoom call. And uh, it really kind of rubbed everyone the wrong way, as you might imagine. And he was fired for it or not fired. It, it, you, you'd think that you would be fired for that. Masturbating, you know, workplace masturbation, the kind of thing that you would think would get you fired, especially in the Me Too era. Well, that's not what happened because he's back now. He was back on CNN yesterday and they, for some reason, decided to, on TV, have a conversation about Tubin's masturbatory habits. And they brought a woman in, Allison Camerata, to have this discussion. This is, I think, the most cringe-inducing thing to ever air on cable news. I mean, it's oh, I actually have not seen this entire video yet because I can't get past 15 seconds. It is so... It, the cringe is overwhelming. It's nuclear-grade cringe. This is a cringe comet. Um, an absolute volcano, an explosion of cringe. Well, I'm going to stop on that. I'm not going to go any further with that analogy. Anyway, let's uh, let's try. We're just going to try to watch this and see how far we can make it. Let's go ahead here. In October, you were on a Zoom call with your colleagues from the New Yorker magazine. Everyone took a break for several minutes, during which time you were caught masturbating on camera. Okay, stop. Can you stop? <laughs> I can't, it's, I can't go any further. Why are they doing this? And why is he sitting there? I'm asking why rhetorically. I know all the answers to my question. But still, why is he sitting there enduring this embarrassment? I know he wants his job back and everything, but he's been, how old is this guy? He's probably in his 60s now. He's been on TV a long time. Doesn't he have money saved up? How could you ever... How are you showing your face again? In, th- imagine this guy walking through the hallways of CNN. He ends up in a break room grabbing a coffee with someone that was on that Zoom call. Like, hey, uh, how you been? Why would you want to endure that? There's no amount of money that could make that worth it. Go off into the into the woods, grow your beard out. You know, you, you can have all, just, you can do everything. You, you're out of sight. Do everything. Go ahead and do what you need to do out there. And live out the rest of your days. All right, let's, we're going we're gonna to keep going. We're going to try to make it through this. You were subsequently fired from that job after 27 years of working there. And you, since then, have been on leave from CNN. Do I have all that right? Um, you got it all right. Sad to say. Okay, so let's start there. Okay. Um, to quote Jay Leno, what the hell were you thinking? Well, obviously, uh, I wasn't thinking very well or very much, and um, it was something that was inexplicable to me. I think one point, I, I wouldn't exactly say in my defense, because nothing is really in my defense. I didn't think I was on the call. I didn't think other people could see me. You so, thought that you had turned off your camera? Correct. I thought that I had turned off the Zoom call. Now, that's not a defense. Oh, okay. This was Wait, stop it there. First of all, inexplicable. His own masturbation was inexplicable to him. What, is, what does that even mean? He's looking down at himself going, what, what's going on right now? And then he says uh, he didn't know that the, his, his coworkers could see him. So what he's saying is, yeah, I was I was masturbating in front of my coworkers. I didn't, but I didn't know they could see me. And that, and that makes it okay. All right, how long is this video? Let's just let's just let's just make it through. Go ahead. This was deeply moronic and indefensible, but. I mean that that is part of that that is part of the story, um, and you know I have spent the seven subsequent months miserable months in my life. I can certainly 
confess, um, trying to be a better person. I'm Miserable. in therapy. How do you think, how do you think do people had to see service. that, Phil? Jeffrey? Um, working in a food bank, which I certainly am going to continue to do. Working, working on a, a new book bank. about the Oklahoma City bombing. But I am trying to become the kind of person that people can trust again. Working in a food bank? I don't want this guy handling my food. The people that are going to a food bank, they've had, they're having a hard enough time, and now they got a, a chronic public masturbator serving their food? Oh, man. The whole thing is, is uh, I don't even know what to say. Probably I've said too much, as it is. But we, let, let's, can we be clear about, about one thing? Okay. As CNN tries to, oh, well, a couple things to be clear about. CNN is trying to re- rehabilitate this guy. Because he's one of their own, right? Um, this they would never do this, right? If, if this wasn't someone that they had a personal attachment to, they would never do this. Almost anybody else, their life is over for this. Certainly, you you lose your job for that. Like this is take me too out of it, take cancel culture out of it. In any normal scenario, you take your pants off and do that in front of coworkers. You're going to lose your job and you're not going to get it back. It doesn't matter what era we're living in. It doesn't matter anything. You're going to lose your job for that. But CNN is going to rehabilitate. Why is Louis C.K. is still persona non grata? He's, he's still in exile from polite society. How do you justify that if Jeffrey Tubin's allowed to come? At least Louis C.K. got consent first before he did that. Jeffrey Tubin didn't ask anybody. But also, another thing to be clear about is, yes, and somehow this has been lost in the whole conversation. He didn't know his camera was on. I, I believe that he didn't know the camera was on. I think that much is clear. But he was on a Zoom call in a work meeting. And he knew that. So he is doing that his, his plan was to do that while watching this meeting, right? He was, he was trying to do that during a meeting. That part was intentional. The unintentional part was that the camera was on. So I go back to how is that not a, fi- a permanently fireable offense? Well, I hope you enjoyed that clip from The Matt Wall Show. If you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down there so you can stay up to date on all of our future content.